Hey yo, welcome back IB International Economic Students this video lecture today. We're going to be talking about the financial account, okay? And for the sake of simplicity, uh, some people also call it the capital account within the unit of the balance of payments for international economics. Now, uh, this is for year two IB Economics students and uh, I hope this video will be a great review and a great uh, lecture going over the topics. Okay, so in the last video, we have talked about the definition of the balance of payments, which is a summary between all the transactions between the people of one country and the rest of the world. Now, we have given an example of America and China and America and the rest of the world. Now, in our last video, we have also talked about the current account, okay? which measures these, these uh, factors for both the positive and negative current accounts. Now, today, we're going to be talking about the financial and capital account. Now, what is the financial account and capital account? Um, it also, similar to the current account, also measures a couple of economic transactions and interactions between the country, the domestic country, and everyone abroad in the rest of the world. Okay, so within the financial account, uh, these five things okay, are accounted for in both the positive and negative financial accounts. Now, what's the first thing? Investment by foreigners in domestic assets. Now, these are what we call F, uh, foreign investment. Okay, What we call, uh, for example... Um, investment by foreigners in domestic assets. So that could be foreigners coming to build factories, foreigners coming to buy assets, foreigners coming to finance companies as angel investors, as, as intrinsic investors, whatever. Okay. So foreigners coming into your domestic countries to invest in your assets. Now that's what we call a positive financial account. Now another form of a positive financial account is what we call the foreign divest, foreign direct investment or what we call the FDI. Now what is the FDI? Now FDI has a quite a specific definition that it has to encompass at least 10% or more of a domestic company. Okay. So for example, if uh if 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 let's say Nike is trying to expand into Argentina, so Nike buys into an Argentinian shoe factory with uh 50%, in that case that would be a FDI. Now that would be a positive uh in the financial account if you're Argentina. However, that would be a negative uh for the for the uh fi financial account if you're an uh, American company, which Nike is. Now, another example of the positive financial account uh, is, is what we call physical capital of fact or, or factories acquired by a foreign uh, firm. So, for example, America is trying to build a lot of factories in uh, Mexico. So they build shoe factories in Mexico. And every time American firms build shoe factories in Mexico, that is a positive uh, in, in the financial account for, a Mexican, uh, for the Mexican government. Now, portfolio investments, uh, which includes, you know, stocks, government, uh, corporate bonds, rental, real estate, real estate, farmland, land. Okay. These are all investments foreign entities may have in the domestic market that will contribute to the positive financial account. And once again, changes in the official reserves of foreign currencies is also accounted for within, uh, the positive uh, financial account. Now, for the negative financial accounts, basically exactly the same as the uh, positive financial account, just opposite. Okay. So instead of foreigners investing in the domestic assets and the negative financial account will be domestic uh, people investing in foreign assets. Okay. So instead of uh, domestic firms investing in foreign companies, it will be foreign firms uh, do, uh, investing in, do, uh, it will be uh, instead of domestic, uh, instead of foreign firms investing in domestic companies, it will not be f uh, domestic companies investing in foreign firms. Okay. Instead of uh, domestic firms buying capital or factories in foreign uh, countries, it will be it, it, it will now just be vice versa. Okay. Now, once again, okay, uh, financial account surpluses and financial account deficits may also occur. Now, the same thing is true. If C is greater than D, okay, if there is uh, if the positive financial account is greater than the negative financial account, then we have a surplus in the financial account. If the negative financial account is greater than the positive financial account, which we have as D is greater than C, then we have a deficit in the financial account. Okay. So right now we have gone over the two. Okay. We have gone over the current account and the financial account, and we have gone over the conditions at which the financial account is positive and the uh, conditions in which the financial account, uh, we have gone over the um, conditions where the current account is in a surplus and when the current account is in deficit. We have also gone over the conditions where the finance, uh, where the current account is in surplus and when the current account is in deficit. So I hope this video is helpful in going over the financial account, the factors behind the financial account, as well as the determinants of whether it is in surplus or deficit.
Okay, so just take all of these factors, add it up, look at the quantity, and see if C is greater than D or if D is greater than C. So I do hope this video is helpful. If it is, I do hope, okay, I do hope to see you guys in the next video where we will be going over the relationship between the financial and capital account as well as the, uh, as the current account. If it is, uh, leave a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.